Hey guys, today I'll be rating uh, different banks and roleplay games. Oh well, guys, welcome back to Gamer Zero Roblox, and today I'll be rating all sorts of roleplay games, as many as I can think of. So up first we have Skytopia. So if you don't know what Skytopia is, Skytopia is pretty much an advanced version of Livetopia. Livetopia is one of my favorite roleplay games, by the way. So today I'll be rating different uh, banks in roleplay games, and uh, there will be two categories. Okay, so the first one will be security, like how hard is the bank to rob. And the second one will be the bank itself, like how nicely designed is the bank. Okay, so the first bank we're going to see... Um, we're gonna rob is the, um, Bank of Skytopia. By the way, Skytopia is the game that we are in right now. By the way, I'm doing a voiceover, if you don't know. By the way, guys, spoiler alert, this bank was so hard to rob. I actually had to get, a, get help from a girl, the girl next to me. Yeah, she helped me rob the bank. And the last part we couldn't even get into. I had to use a sleeping bag to glitch into the vault. So I'll give Skytopia a 10 out of 10 for security and a uh, 8 out of 10 for design. It's a very nicely designed bank and it's very advanced. Okay, so up next we have Brookhaven. So Brookhaven is one of my favorite roleplay games, and the safe, the bank, is very, very fun to rob. So yeah, I will speed it up. So there's actually two ways to get into this bank. So there's the way that I'm doing right now, which is the secret tunnel system underground. And the second way is by getting a key card and going through the door. And then after that, you just place an explosive run and then blow it up, and then... The vault is blown up and you could get the money and run. By the way, guys, <coughs> these are not the actual explosion sounds. They're just explosion sounds I'm adding and using editing. I like to add random sounds sometimes when I edit. And sounds that fit in with the video. Okay, so guys, I'm out of the bank. And yeah, I just got out. I'll have to give Brookhaven, a, so in doing the second way, I'll have to give Brookhaven a security rating of 6 out of 10, because, yeah, it's not the greatest at protection, however, it is good. And it's very nicely designed, too, so I'll give the design a 8 out of 10. So up next, we have Sim to Life RP. Yes, this is actually my first time playing this game, and... So yeah, um, I don't know exactly what to do here. This is my first time playing this game. But however, one of the things that I discovered is this adorable dog. As well as, yeah, you could also play the guitar or all the notes and stuff, which is very, very nice. But that's not the guitar. I'm just judging the bank. Okay, so yeah, the bank is very, very nicely designed. And yeah. I really like the security system. The security system is very nice. So I have to give the security system a, a 5 out of 10. And, and the bank itself gets a 8 out of 10. Paradise Island RP. Now this game may seem familiar because I actually created this roleplay game. And yeah, this roleplay game, I created it. And yeah, today we're going to be checking out its bank. Even though Paradise RP has some great things, its bank is definitely not one of them. Yeah, like, um, unfortunately, a while after I added the bank in, the bank's model sort of glitched, and now whenever you try to, like, click on something, it just, uh, you just get, like, a keyboard type thing. So, yeah, I had to literally glitch into the bank using a, uh, uh, using commands, like the flying command, and then I had to glitch in there, by the way, the, um, it's a slash to do commands like in minecraft and yeah i i um glitched into the bank and yeah it was very very hard to glitch into the vault yeah by the way it, there used to be a different way to rob the bank but unfortunately uh something happened with the model and stuff and uh, 
and it like glitched out and stuff so now the only way to get in is to like glitch in which is very unfortunate the bank is very very frustrating to glitch into so i have to give the security rating a 9 out of 10 just because of how hard it is to glitch in and then get into the bank well the design itself is very nicely designed so i'll give it a 6 out of 10 on the design up next we have red cliff city rp as you can tell just by looking at the uh cover um you can tell that they just got an update on the bank which makes me know that they must have a bank and that their bank is probably gonna be good Let's just hope that it's good. Okay, so yeah. Wait, the bank's just right across the street. Okay, so yeah. Um, the bank is very nicely designed. I think I need to unlock this gate, I think. Wow, I didn't know that you needed a key card for that. Hmm. Uh, um, I think that this ladder leads to the vault. Yep, I think it does. Oh, there's the vault. Now there's lasers everywhere. There's lasers everywhere. Yeah. Man, this security system is tough. Now, now I'm going to explode it. Man, this was very difficult to rob. I'll have to give the security system a 8 out of 10 just because of how hard it is to get through. Plus, these lasers kill you, and the design is very nice, so I'll give the design a 7 out of 10. Up next, we got Springville RP. Now, guys... Okay, so yeah, um, I know exactly where the bank is in this game, because yeah, it's like right in it's like in the center of the town like right next to the spawn um yeah now this is the bank now guys if you remember that one video i posted now guys this game is all right it's all right it's just the only thing that i don't like about it is the fact that there are so many timers there's like a timer for literally any everything yeah, like if they didn't have those timers, then I would, then I honestly, this game would honestly be pretty good. It's got a pretty good concept. Although, yeah, they kind of messed it up with those dumb timers that are so unnecessary. I just really dislike them. These are examples of timers. Well, yeah, this video, I'm not going to talk about the timers. I got to talk about the safe and like how hard is it to rob. Okay, so I think the fault is right here. Are you kidding me? That's it? Are you kidding me? Although, yeah, the bank is very, very nicely designed. I'll have to give uh, this bank... I'll have to give Springville's security system a uh, 2 out of 10. But the bank itself is very nicely designed. So I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Up next, we got one of my favorite roleplay games, Roville RP. Now, I'll just say it flat out. This game is amazing. This game is beautifully made. And the bank is one of those reasons. So, for a start, the bank had this really, really fun mini game where you had to choose a specific number of cash and then deposit or withdraw it to that customer. And yeah, it's a really fun game to play and you can earn... Uh, in-game money off of it. It's really, really fun. I may even make a short off that. Now, this is a may. I might not make a short off this. Okay, so now for the actual robbing of the bank. Okay, so I saw some doors in the back, and I had a feeling they led to the vault. But they were locked, and I had no idea how to unlock them. Literally, I tried, like, everything. And yeah... I, I tried everything. I even looked around for a key, and I even asked a, 
a random person walking by if they knew how to open the doors and they said no. So yeah, I had to literally glitch through the door. I had to literally glitch through the door in order to get to the vault. Yeah. Um, and behind the door, I don't know if this was the intended route to get to the vault or not, but yeah, this is the route I took. I don't think that this route was intended, though. I don't think it was intended. See, so, okay, so yeah, um, I walked downstairs and saw this vault, and yeah, this was the vault of the bank, and yeah, I don't, I have no idea what the intended route is. If you know what the intended route is, please leave it in the comments for me. Yeah, um, and as you can see, there are, there is gold and money and all sorts of stuff, and when you grab it, you get automatically teleported back to here. So the security system gets a 8 out of 10, but the bank itself gets a 9 out of 10, the design. It's very, very nicely designed. Up next, we have Livtopia. So I'm just gonna say it flat out, Livtopia is amazing. Livtopia is one of my favorite roleplay games, and it's a lot more advanced than Brookhaven. So yeah, and the bank is very, very nice and very fun to rob. However, the security system isn't the best. So, uh, so I'll have to give the security system a 4 out of 10. And the bank itself is very nicely designed. So I'll give it a uh, 7 out of 10. Up next we have Bayville RP. Wait, is that Weightlifting Simulator 3 in the top corner? I thought that game got deleted a long time ago. Well, I guess it's back. Okay, up next we have Bayville RP. So I absolutely love this game. This game has to be one of my favorite roleplay games. Oh darn, I got the dumb camera glitch. Let me just reset. Let me just leave and come back. Now, this normally took me, like, a few minutes to get to the bank, so yeah, I'll speed it up. Of course it costs Robux. Literally everything on Roblox nowadays costs Robux. Okay, so this is the bank. By the way, guys, Bayville RP is such an amazing game. I highly recommend it. Oh, those are two doges. Wow, looks like I'm not the only one who's a doge here. Oh yeah, I'm not a doge in this part. Because for some reason, I'm in my old avatar. Yeah, I played this game back when I had my old avatar. That's why. By the way, guys, there's a parkour course. and There's an obby that you had to complete in order to rob the bank. And man, is it difficult. By the way, it's way harder than it looks. And I absolutely enjoy robbing this bank. So I'll have to give the security system for this bank a 9 out of 10. And the bank itself gets a 10 out of 10. Up next, we got one of my favorite roleplay games, City Life. Okay, so yeah, um, in order... Today I'm gonna switch roles because, yeah, in, unfortunately, for some reason, in order to um, rob the bank in uh, City Life, you have to be a robber. Or in, you have to be in the criminal role. Okay, well, yeah, I... I drove up there, and and while it has the awful driving controls that are in a lot of games that I hate, it's like the arrows, like why not uh, just use the um the the joystick to control the car, like most role play games do. But most role play games, including mine, have this driving system. Okay, now well, th this bank is. Pretty interestingly designed. Yeah, and if you get, t and if you touch the lasers twice, you will die. Meaning that, yeah, it's just a matter of timing. Yeah, you just gotta time it right. And then after that, yeah, all you gotta do is just open the vault, and well, here, oh, it's with all the stuff. 
And by the way, yeah, you can die by touching these lasers. So yeah, I'll give it a, I'll give City Life a security rating of 8 out of 10. And it's very nicely designed, so I'll give the design a 7 out of 10. Now, this is one of my favorite role-play games, uh, Seaboard City RP. So yeah, Seaboard City RP is one of my favorite role-play games, <clears throat> and I really like it. Although, yeah, the bank was so hard to find. I searched all over the town. I searched through the neighborhoods, through um, the city, through the suburbs, everywhere. I searched everywhere, all over the place, but I just could not find the safe. <laughs> By the way, I sped it up, but yeah, this took me like 10 minutes to find the safe, and yeah, I, until I finally found it, it turned out that they, they haven't labeled it as safe. By the way, I'm doing a voiceover, and I finally found it, and I had to get out a, um, and then I, um, open the safe yeah and uh, and after the vault exploded i got the money so yeah here um, so yeah i um put the the tnt right here yeah i put the tnt right here and and then after that i went to this tunnel system and yeah it turns out that there was another vault so yeah i needed to get some more tnt in order to open the vault. Hmm. And then after that, I got the um, gold, which I'm... Yeah, um, I, I got the gold. Uh, so I'll give the design rating of this bank a... 8 out of 10. And the security system, it's a 9 out of 10. Mainly because it's just way too hard to find the bank. Seaboard City is such an amazing game that you should definitely check out. I de definitely recommend it. Okay, let's go on to our next roleplay game. So this is the vault room. So yeah, as you can see, it has lasers, and you gotta time it right. And well, guys, um, yeah, I let me put the um TNT on this vault. So yeah, that way I can get the um, that way I can see the inside and get the money. Okay, so guys, let's head in. Wow. Look at the inside of this place. Why do all these banks have gold bars? That's what I wonder. Okay, so I'll have to give Barry Avenue RP a security rating of 7 out of 10. And the design itself gets a 9 out of 10. Okay, for our final roleplay game, we got Cruise Live. Okay, so Cruise Life's bank is amazing. Okay, so yeah, um, on in Cruise Life, um, there are multiple islands, and you visit an island um Monday, Thursday, and Friday, I think. Yeah, I'm probably wrong, but I do know it's three days a week you get to visit an island. Although, yeah, one of those islands is a city, and well, each island has a special event. The village island, the medieval village island, as um. A fighting event. The jungle island has a temple event and the city island has a bank event where you're supposed to test the bank and rob it. And yeah, I gotta say so myself. This bank is amazingly designed and it has an obby and believe it or not I couldn't even get through it. I couldn't even get through it. It's because I was stuck in this bent maze part for like um, a long time. So 
So I'll give the I'll give uh, Cruise Life a security rating of ten out of ten, and the bank's design itself gets a ten out of ten as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Bye everyone. Have an amazing day. Good after. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night. Have an amazing day, everyone.